Jacquez, uh, what was the bye week like for you guys, and do you feel like uh, y'all got better in some areas? Uh, the bye week, it was just like another week of practice. You know, we got an extra week uh, to focus on South Carolina and to put in all the game plans. So when we come in a day, we basically got all the call that we're going to call this weekend last week. So it just polishing everything up. What, uh, what did you guys work on in terms of looking inward, in terms of looking at Ole Miss, fundamentals, that sort of thing? What did y'all focus on last week? Uh, like, uh, it was like start off with like Coach Gideon. And then like instead of doing special team drill, like pump block, we focus on stuff that could better our game, like uh, the fly zone, strike zone. And uh, I think last week, uh, with Coach Dirk and our main focus was uh, getting off blocks. So that was our our big thing for last week is practice getting off blocks, and that's what we try to accomplish. You'll go ahead. I'm curious, you don't get many Saturdays off when you get one. Are, are you do you spend any time at all watching like South Carolina on Saturday, or are you just hey, I'm gonna be young and enjoy my weekend? Uh, it was actually weird because I, I I told myself that I was gonna try to sleep in to about twelve, but like, I'm so used to waking up early, so I was up about eight o'clock just just looking around like what am I gonna do? I just turned on college game day and just it it's weird not playing on a Saturday. I would rather play than be at home. Did you watch South Carolina's game at all? Yeah, I, I, I watched. I watched. I was mo uh, mostly tuned in to that Clemson Notre Dame game. South Carolina's. Apparently, opening up their quarterback situation this week is it as a defender is it difficult preparing for a team when you don't really know who the quarterback's going to be or is it just same as always? I think it's same as always because at the end of the day, if we go out and play our ball, uh, we should we should have no problems. Thank you, Nick. Go ahead. Kind of at this point in the season, the rotation with you and Momo and all the other linebackers just. Is it what you expected, or did it take an adjustment to kind of spend as much time jetting in and out as, as you guys do? Uh, really, it, it's what I expect. You know, we got uh, three guys, me, Mo, Momo, and Lakia, who has a lot of playing time uh, before this season. I knew that it was going to be a rotation. But I kind of like the way that uh, we did it against Vanderbilt, where I rotated in at both spots, and Momo and Lakia stayed in their spot. I, I kind of like it like that. What, what do you think that gave to the defense? It, get, it it made us fresh, you know. We'll usually just go uh, – like I just go until I get tired, uh, then I tap, and then we'll see about the next series. But I feel like we if we rotate every series, it keeps us fresh. Just kind of bigger picture with you being one of the veterans on this defense, what have you seen from some of the younger guys this year? I know they got their first look against Vanderbilt, a lot of them. What, what did they show on tape? Uh, really, uh, I hate to say it, but I was kind of disappointed, you know. Uh, they got in, you know, we was up, We they they let them score, and, you know. They supposed to go in and, you know, stop them like we did. So I was, like, kind of disappointed they gave up some points. I know they're young, but it's still, like, you know, you got to practice like you the starter. So when it's their time to shine, they got to go in and be locked down.